she found love in a cup of coffee. My husband and I are going to celebrate our anniversary on Valentine's Day. Now some of you may know that our wedding was such an amazing combination of miracles and disasters that my husband and I felt compelled to write a book about it. It's called Inviting God to Your Wedding. And I'm so glad that so many brides and grooms have written to us over the years to say thank you for helping them prepare spiritually for their wedding in the midst of a very hectic and overwhelming time. So many of those letters have asked if once we'd invited God to our wedding, did we have any advice now for keeping God in our marriage? And I always think of the advice I received before I got married that I've always tried to follow. The day after John and I announced our engagement, Della Reese took me aside on the set of Touched by an Angel and said very simply, it's a new day, every day. Wake up every morning, thank God for your wonderful man, and ask God what you can do to make your husband happy today. It was a simple but priceless lesson she taught me. It's not about sacrifice or subservience, it's about power. I have been entrusted by God with the power to be the one person in the world who can make my husband really happy day after day. And when I do that, I'm happy too. When I was growing up, my father always rose very early and had breakfast before my mother woke up. Every morning for nearly 50 years, he'd make coffee and read the newspaper quietly in the kitchen waiting for her to awaken. And I'd sit with him before I walked to school. But only years later did I realize that Daddy never just poured a cup of coffee for himself. There was always another empty cup and saucer sitting right beside the coffee pot set for her. Every day in a simple, quiet act, he found a way to say to my mother, I'm here. I'm thinking of you and I love you. I know they had days of frustration and disagreement and maybe anger. But no matter what else was going on, love and forgiveness was always waiting there for her in a little cup of coffee. For me, my husband has sleep apnea and he has to wear one of those humidified masks at night. You know, it's a big deal with a machine and tubes and a water thing. So every night I try to fill up the water thing with distilled water for him. It's a small gesture, but it's something I know he gets tired of doing all the time. And when he walks in and sees it all ready to go, he knows I did it, and he knows why. How about you? How do you say I love you without saying it? Let us know. And happy Valentine's Day. <laughs>